Many in the international media have been harshly criticizing Venezuela's economy. They've been blaming the country's socialist policies for the shortages and long lines. Now, typically, the issues contributing to Venezuela's current economic woes have been ignored. Perhaps one of the most important reasons for the economic problems currently facing Venezuela is this. Smuggling, the surreptitious and illegal export of goods. This is how it works. Venezuela has a highly subsidized and regulated food system that was put in place to ensure that absolutely no one goes hungry. That means that the food is extremely cheap and in some cases almost free. Take this bag of rice for example. Here in Venezuela, this costs 26 bolivares. In neighboring Colombia, which has a free market economy, food there is very expensive for the average person. And this same bag of rice costs 500 bolivares across the border. This has created a whole mafia of smugglers who funnel goods out of Venezuela, ranging from food, medicine, and gasoline. Now these mafia work with and include Colombia's paramilitary organizations, creating a deadly mix of economic, political, and social problems for Venezuelans. But the government is fighting back. Security forces have been sent to the border regions to deal with the corruption that has allowed the smuggling to go on. Paramilitaries have been detained. Maduro's administration is soliciting the assistance of Colombia to put an end to the illegal activity and to bring stability back to the economy. And this is how the fight for Venezuela's economy must be fought. With the application of the rule of law, through international assistance, and through the respect to human rights.